Well, I, I think the issue of status for Puerto Rico is very important, and I understand that uh, there's a movement to have plebiscites coming up with options for the people of Puerto Rico to decide and exp what they'd like to do and express their preference for it. Mm -hmm. So I think the first thing we should do is allow the people of Puerto Rico to decide and weigh in on what they would like and what they would like uh, for the future of Puerto Rico. And uh, so I would await the outcomes of those plebiscites, but I would also note that from a Republican standpoint, the GOP platform in 2008, and I believe in other years as well, supported a pathway to statehood for Puerto Rico if that's what Puerto Rico chose to do. In the sequence of making sure that the people of Puerto Rico speak for what they would like first, and I think that's why the plebiscites uh, offering the options of status quo, you know, what, whether they would prefer statehood, whether they prefer other uh, status, we need to let that process, I think, go forward and see how the people of Puerto Rico feel so we're not telling them what to do or imposing things on Puerto Rico. Well, in, in Minnesota, if you haven't been there, it's got a deep uh, liberal tradition. So there's politicians there over the years like Hubert Humphrey and Walter Mondale and Paul Wellstone and, and uh, now U.S. Senator Al Franken, so it leans pretty hard left. And in my state, I was able to win it as a Republican, mm -hmm. which is somewhat unusual, particularly for a conservative. Uh, and we changed the state on spending and taxes, health care, public employee pensions, education, lawsuit reform. And we've got, I think, one of the best, I have one of the best records in the country for a governor. But I was able to win by not just appealing to Republicans, but also appealing to independents and conservative mm -hmm. Democrats. Uh, not by pretending to be something I wasn't. I was, I was true to my values as a Republican. Mm -hmm. But by trying to make sure in tone and in the way we presented ideas that we were thoughtful and uh, tried to not be demeaning or judgmental of other people on a personal basis and tried to just engage people to say, look, you may not always agree with me, but I want you to know that debate is welcome. And uh, we reached out to people who weren't yet on the team and invited them to come on the team and we converted a lot of folks. The past you've called yourself a social conservative. Can you give me a definition for that? Sure. Well, I think I'm the one person in the Republican race, the likely candidates in 2012, who will be able to appeal to the whole Republican Party. So that consists of economic conservatives, social conservatives, which tend to be people mm -hmm. who are pro-life and also in favor of traditional marriage and other issues, libertarian, <coughs> libertarian and Tea Party conservatives, and then national defense and security conservatives. I've, I've got a record and good support across the whole spectrum. Mm -hmm. Many of the other candidates, I think, are going to be able to appeal only to one or two of those categories, but I'm going to be able to appeal to all four, unite the party, excite the party, and then also be able to appeal to the independents and the Democrats that we're going to be able to, that we need to win the election in places like Wisconsin and Ohio and Florida and Colorado and many other places. Okay, some more questions, I'll yeah. um, um, What do you think, then, about the Republican Party and the possibility um, of this candidates like Tara Palin and Michelle Beckman, who, are, who have very extreme um, um, postures about religion and a lot of other issues, do you think that they can get a lot of common votes? Well, we'll see. Uh, uh, you know, I don't even know who's all going to run for sure, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's going to be a full kind of array of folks mm -hmm. running. Uh, but I think I'm best suited. I think if you look at there's some folks who will be more on the liberal wing of the Republican Party. There's mm -hmm. some other people. But I think I've got the genuine ability to appeal to the whole party, to the whole party, mm -hmm. and on, on economic issues, social issues, kind of libertarian issues, as well as national defense. You have security. mentioned different names for your presidential mm -hmm. running mate. Is Governor Luis Fortunio in that possible list? Of I names? always mention Luis Fortunio. He is a mm -hmm. wonderful friend and a wonderful person. And uh, <clears throat> in addition to his great vision for Puerto Rico, I know him as somebody of great character and integrity. He's got a good heart. And when we talk about the future of the Republican Party and the future of America, and we give examples of the kinds of leaders that are going to emerge to help lead the country, I always put his name on the list because he deserves it. He's a tremendous leader and a tremendous person. So it's a good possibility. Absolutely.